So tonight we are once again headed to Inglewood, California, and I feel like we were just there because we actually were there last week at the YouTube theater. Tonight we're headed to the forum and we're going there to see New Kids on the Block. Now, when New Kids first came out when I was a kid, uh, I always liked them, even though they were kind of considered more of a group for girls. I probably started appreciating their songs a little bit more when I was older. I was never a huge New Kids fan, but I did think they were really fun. I never really thought about going to a New Kids on the Block concert though. But then about four or five years ago, they did the mixtape tour, where it was New Kids on the Block, uh, Salt and Peppa, Naughty by Nature, Debbie Gibson, and Tiffany. They would have each artist come out and do a couple of songs and then they would rotate to kind of make it like a mixtape. And it was a really fun concert. And then after that, I was like, okay, I'm good. I don't need to see New Kids again. They did the mixtape tour part two. This time it was New Kids on the Block, In Vogue, salt and Peppa, and Rick Astley. And I had never seen him before and I really wanted to see him. So I went to my second New Kids on the Block concert. It was a really fun concert and I really enjoyed it. But again, I was like, okay, I don't need to go to another New Kids concert. Whoever is in charge of putting their concerts together and doing their marketing must be really good because they are now doing the Magic Summer Tour. First of all, whenever you talk about summer and nostalgia, you've already got my attention. This tour is New Kids on the Block, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and Paula Abdul. And I've never seen Paula Abdul before. I've always wanted to see her. I have seen DJ Jazzy Jeff do a small DJ set at another concert, but I'm a really big fan of his, so any chance to see him, I'll take it. So tonight, I'm going to my third New Kids on the Block concert. Let's do it. All right, the show's about to start, so we need to get inside. Let's do it. Cutting my cane, go to class. Far from overrated, never been under that. Feeling 
devilish case when it comes to the scratch. Don't ever get it twisted. Take on a missing turn, but when he's doing on them turntables, he's really work. Hold up. What you think he just did in records? I recommend that you reconsider researching. Once again, I go by the name of Danny Jordan. Would you please give it up for the greatest DJ on the planet, the magnificent DJ Jazzy Jeff? in this very building. It's so great to have a homecoming and one that's so meaningful to me. I will forever be grateful for my, for my days as a Laker girl. Now normally, I don't mind sitting on the side of the stage, and actually in these larger arenas, I kind of prefer it. I feel like you get a better shot from the side of the stage. However, I didn't expect to have those large speakers hanging directly in my view. Now obviously, if you were sitting lower, closer to the stage, you wouldn't have this problem.
We don't want you to. In fact, we don't want you to go so much. You played all our new songs, but could you just play one, just one of your classic songs? I got you. Drums, please. Los Angeles! Now, I was really happy when I saw this song on their set list, and then I was really disappointed when they let someone in the audience perform it. I would have just rather heard Donnie do it. In 1988, New Kids on the Block, after we finished touring with Tiffany, toured with DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, it was one of the greatest, most influential times in our careers. You guys treated us like family, and you still do today, Jeff. It meant the world to us. Thank you. I'm not that kind of guy who can take a broken heart. So don't ever leave. All right, so there you have it. So what was my opinion of the whole thing? Uh, first of all, DJ Jazzy Jeff, I mean, obviously it's just a DJ set. I couldn't show too much of his set because of the copyright issues, but I gotta say, he is the epitome of what a great DJ is. Anybody that can stand on a stage in front of that many people and play so many different genres of music and keep everybody up on their feet. I mean, like I said, I didn't show too much of his set, but he was going from playing like Rob Bass to David Bowie to Bruno Mars to Nirvana to uh, Run DMC and everybody was loving everything that he was playing. And I think that definitely shows what a talented DJ he is. Uh, so as far as Paula Abdul, I'm kind of on the fence. Um, first of all, I'm pretty sure that she was lip syncing. Uh, and I know how everybody feels about lip syncing me included. The reason why I'm pretty sure she was lip syncing is when she would talk in between songs, she was extremely out of breath. And then she would go right back into a song and she would sound flawless. But here's the thing. I think when you go to a show like that, it's kind of like going to a Broadway show with a really great soundtrack. She did put on an amazing show. She can still dance her butt off. I really enjoyed it. I love Paul Abdul's music, and like I said, she did put on a good show. So I know that a lot of people aren't down for the lip syncing, and I totally get it, but I think you just kind of have to look at this as a different kind of thing. As for New Kids on the Block, what can I say? They always put on a really good show, and all these years later, they still have extremely loyal fans that pack the house every time they perform. New Kids definitely are not lip syncing, and you know, sometimes you can tell, sometimes they are not hitting every note perfectly, but that's okay. They're still up there doing their thing and people are loving it. And like I said, they really know how to put on a show. Uh, it is a good time. So if you are kind of a New Kids on the Block fan and you've never seen them, I think you might enjoy the show. All right, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>